Hi everybody, it's Amber from Stampin' Oasis. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so today's project is part two of the stationery gift box that I shared um, earlier this week when I showed you the inside of this and how I made it and all of the cards. So this project today, I'm gonna to make this again, but using the Forever Fern um, specialty designer series paper and card stock. So, I'm going to show you all of the measurements and bits and pieces you'll need and how to construct it and then I'm going to do a part three to show you the cards and I'm going to decorate it a bit more than I did this one. Um, this one is quite plain but this one I've, I want to make it a bit more decorated on the inside and sort of have a few sentiments maybe some embellishments. So yeah I'm going to do that and to stop it from being too long I'm literally just going to do it in three different parts. So I showed you how I put this one together with the different pockets and cards you can fit inside tags and everything you'll need really for sort of gifting to someone if even if you wanted to keep it for yourself um so you know you've got cards readily made and available to send out with different sentiments okay so let's get started so you will need your scoreboard and i'll run through the bits and pieces that you'll need and what they're for um the mats and layers i've already pre-cut apart from the belly band but before i go into that i just want to show you how amazing these papers are i've already obviously chopped into them so on one side you have this amazing patterns of greens greens leaves and stuff and ferns i just love the colors I love this one, how beautiful is that? Um, yeah, so I've used quite a few of them. I kept it quite simple, so I've just used this one, this one, and what was the other one I used? So that one, that one. I can't remember now. I will we'll go through it anyway. So yeah, absolutely stunning. So you've got plain patterns on the other side and the like large leaf prints on the other. Okay, so for the main back piece, you will need a piece of card. So I've used the Just Jade, which is one of the colours in the pack. This measures 11 inches by 7, and it's scored at half an inch on either side. So that's going to be the first piece. Your two side panels, which come out and do the folding, need to measure... 11 and 3 quarters by 7 and that's scored at 3, 8 and 10 inches and same again on the other side so for the left and right do exactly the same but one of them you'll obviously end up flipping over like so so that will be the ends as to how they come out I don't know how well you can see that it's quite long as I showed you before so those are for the side panels then at the ends of the side panels because they're still quite long and they fold over again it's like a double fold you need another piece of cardstock that measures four and seven eighths by seven you need two of those okay so that's the main fold out part of the box on there as well. sorry bear with me okay and then for the inside these are all my mats and layers Get rid of those a moment again don't worry about writing down all the measurements i am going to leave a blog post a link in the description box to the blog post which will have all the measurements clearly set out so for your um cards is it cards or envelopes this box i did write on them yeah so for your cards box that's going to go on the inside you'll need a piece of cards that measures 12 by four and a half and that is scored on the long side at four and three quarters, five and three quarters, ten and a half, and eleven and a half. Turn it 90 degrees and score again at one inch. So you'll need two of those um, as well. So that's those two. That one. Then for your envelopes, see I've written little E there, so I know which one's which. Um, you'll need a piece of cardstock that measures 11 and a half by what's that? four and a quarter and on the long side score at four and three quarters five and a half ten and a quarter and 11 inches turn 90 degrees and score at three quarters of an inch again two of those 
and then for the inside for the notebook that's going to go on the inside uh, you'll need a piece of cardstock that measures 10 and a half by oh, is that four yeah four inches score on the long side at four and a quarter five nine and a quarter and ten turn 90 degrees and score again at three quarters of an inch just one of those for the note cards the box needs to measure your cards needs to measure sorry eight and a half by three and a quarter yeah three and a quarter on the long side score at three and a quarter four seven and a quarter and eight turn 90 degrees and score at three quarters of an inch and then this one is for the tags so your little gift tags that you want to make um the piece of cardstock needs to measure six and a quarter by three and a quarter and yeah scored on the long side at two and one eighth two and seven eighths five inches and five and three quarters turn 90 degrees and score again at three quarters of an inch okay so that's what you're going to need for those um the mats all of the mats will be a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual panels they're going to get stuck to but again i will leave those in the description box below so what i'm going to do now i'm quickly just going to pause the video while i fold and burnish on the score lines and i'm going to get the mats glued down so then we can construct it together so i'll be back in just a second okay i'm back everybody so what i've gone ahead and done is i have gone ahead and put all of my mats on the bits of cardstock we've just ran through and what I'm going to do now is show you how to make it I've already constructed the boxes most of them I've left two to do on the screen so that you can see how I did it because it's the same principle for all of them um, so this is our back main piece I'm going to put that to one side while I show you how to do the boxes so I've left one cards box and one envelope box and you're going to put your DSP on the bit where it's got two side panels instead of the one that's got none. Um, again, so I've just got the lovely Forever Green Fern DSP, sorry. I think I have measured these wrong. And yes, I have. Right, let's take these down by a quarter of an inch, I believe. These things happen. Honestly, with my other one that I did before, Celebrate Sunflowers one, I came to put it together and I was like, huh, something's not right here. And I realised that on quite a few of the measurements, um, I'd somehow managed to get it wrong by an eighth of an inch. So one side was slightly bulkier than the other. I mean, it's really pernickety. Um, you would barely even notice, like, if I was to gift it to my nan, for instance, she would have no idea. But because I knew it was there, it was really bugging me. Um, so yeah, this one, I've made sure that I've done all the measurements whilst I'm wide awake instead of at 10 o'clock at night. And hopefully that should make all the difference. I have gone through quite a lot of Tombow for this project. Um, and the Celebrate Sunflowers one. I've almost used, I'd probably say about half, if not three quarters almost, of a Tombow glue. Um, and also I've used three... No, four sheets of A4 cardstock and three sheets of 12 by 12 to make this. So it is one of those kind of labour of love projects and you do use up quite a lot of cardstock and DSP. However, it is well worth it, especially as I'm gifting it to somebody anyway. Um, no, that one's fine. It was just that one. I didn't do that one correctly. Okay, so we're going to get these on. And then I'm going to show you how to put it all together. It does not want to work. It's working perfectly fine a minute ago. As soon as you go on camera. Nope, not working. Just blodge it all over. I have used wet glue for all of this. So the construction and the mats. Just purely because I find the any kind of double sided tape or anything lifts after a while. Um, and you get a much sturdier hold, I find, with doing it like that. Um, so for the cards and the envelopes, as they're both on show, as you'll see when we put it all together, um, I have done little mats for the sides as well. Not the bottoms, just the side bits. Ooh. I have got glue all over my fingers. That one's 
that one. Ugh, and again, look, it's too long. Snip a bit off. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's slightly longer on that side, but we'll roll with it. And sing on that one. This is about a quarter of an inch. I think I got wrong with the measurements there. But again, when I come to post this, I shall have a link to my blog with the correct descriptions and measurements. Don't worry if you get glue anyway, you shouldn't. I've done that quite a few times. Okay, so that's that one. Ideally as well, you guys will, if you try and make this or whatever, um, you'll have the time to let your glue dry. I have not, so a few places where I've had to sort of go over it. It's not too long as well. No. Okay, last one. So these papers, I think, go really well together. Um, the only thing I would suggest is if you're going to use a pattern like I have for the um, matting that is directional, you're going to end up using chopping into more of it because um, like this one here, for instance, goes up. So if I wanted to do bits and pieces for these bits and use more of it, you'd have to go sideways, but I didn't. I had So I had to chop into the two that you get with the actual pack, but that doesn't bother me. Um, so yeah, if, if you're conscious of that kind of thing and going into more than the sheets that you have then just choose one that isn't directional okay so I'll put those to one side get rid of my trimmer so how I put the boxes together so I fold and burnished all of them we're literally going to not into the square not into the side there take that bit off and then cut up the rectangles so essentially on this bit you're taking out the score line. I don't know how well you can see that. If I just bring that up. So yeah, you're cutting down there and then notching into the squares. And same again on this side. So just taking out that score line and it helps it to fold a lot better. So yeah, I hope you all like this project um, when it all comes together. Um, I didn't want to do it as a really long video where I literally just show you everything step by step. But if you guys would prefer that, leave a comment in the description box or leave me a comment down below even and let me know what you'd prefer. Any feedback is greatly received. I am new to this so I'm still getting my bearings but... So same again, straight down the rectangle. I'm not too sure when my next video will be. Um, I've got two weeks left until my due date. As most of you know, I've mentioned before, I'm heavily pregnant with our third child, which we're very excited about. Let's get rid of all the mess. I'm sure I'll clean that up later. Right, so. Now that we've got our boxes all ready, the last two, I'm going to show you, quickly put those together, then we're going to make the stationary box. So, when doing this, I always find it's best to fold over this piece, glue on the tab, and then on the last score line here, you just fold it over, like so, press down. Again, you guys will have time to let this dry, but for the purposes of the video, I don't. Then we're going to come underneath, fold in the tabs, and just put a splodge of glue on there. Doesn't have to be a work of art, no one's going to see it. Fold that bit down, so the bottom bit down, then the top bit here, which will be the front of your box comes over last like so like that and what I do I tend to get my bone folder 
Squish it all down and then that should be nice and firm. Put that to one side. Same again with this one. And then on the last score line there, fold it down, it should all line up. Fold it down there as well if you want. Okay. So again the bottom tabs go in, then the bottom, then this part which is the front folds down, but I'll just move that out of the way for now. Don't use too much on the tabs because then it will spill out and make it sticky for whatever's going in there. And again, I did not bother putting DSP on the bottom because no one is going to be looking there, hopefully. Okay, so now I have got all of my boxes and compartments that are going in to the stationary gift box. I'm just going to quickly punch a hole in them. I am literally eyeballing it. I'm not going to bother measuring just making sure that I've got a similar distance either side. Making sure that I'm happy with that. And punch. And again, just do this for all of them. This one is the one inch punch. I'm not sure if it's retired, actually. But any hole punch you've got will do for this. Again, doesn't have to be a work of art. It's just something so that people can get a hold of the cards or envelopes or whatever's in there. So I'm roughly going down, I think just before half, so about a third of the way. I don't know how well you can see. Some of them might be slightly bigger than others, but again, I'm not bothered. If you do want to make sure it's accurate, just find the halfway point, uh, measure it, put a pencil mark and then go either side of that. Oh, I think I probably should have done this one before. Oh no, we can still get it in. So for this one I'm going to do a slightly different closure as well, and um, the other one I did ribbon, which was fine, it looks nice, but I think I'm going to go for something a bit more sturdier. I wanted to make it so that the actual box closed up, but again I'd already used so much cardstock, I just thought not only that when you take it apart, it, if it's going to hang down and sort of be there in the way, it's just going to, well, yeah, it's just going to get in the way really, so I didn't see it necessary. Okay, so now that we've done that, this is the actual construction part of the box, and this is your piece of cardstock that measures at 11 by 7 scored at half an inch on either side then you should have your two pieces I can't remember how much these measured I think these were 12 inches 11 inch quarters. anyway it'll be down in the description box below so one's for your left and one is the right side I've just realised that I've done this. I should have put this mat on afterwards, so that's meant to go like that. But that's fine, we can put some DSP on the outside because that's where it's going to show. Okay, so run your Tombow and do take your time to make sure that this lines up because this will be the base of your stationary gift box. So you might see my head for a bit. My apologies. Just want to make sure that is really well lined up. Don't worry if a bit of glue splodges out. Just wipe up and it will dry clear. Anyway. Okay, and then this side. Oops. That's it. And then again, just measuring that up. So it's to the score line, not over it. Because you know, you get that sort of bulge whenever you make a score line. 
that's that. Glue splodged out. Okay, then I know it's too long to fit on camera. You've got these bits here. On the ends of these, you are going to use your two pieces that I said measure four and seven eighths by seven inches. You're just going to attach those again. These bits here I've left purely because the cards and envelopes, same with these bits, are going to go on them. So I didn't see it necessary to put DSP on the back because they're going to be covered anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first one, it really is quite a long piece when it's all folded out. Just glue that there. I, I left it that long purely because it just gives it a bit more sturdiness because this bit's the end of the box and it's going to have the um, envelopes box on it as well. I thought it best. to um, keep it as long as possible rather than sort of half or a quarter of an inch. down so I'm just checking out it is straight fold that over and then give it another press down that's it and then bring it out and we're gonna do the same again I know this might seem a bit all over the place at the moment, but trust me, when we start putting it together, I hope it all makes sense. <laughs> okay. Oops. Get a good press down on this side. Okay, so when you've done that, this is how it will all fold up like so. And then obviously you've got room inside here and there to put your bits and pieces in. So if we start off by building up the middle. For the cards, that one is for the cards. These boxes here that I've done for the cards, they fit in nicely. What I did with, I don't know how well you can see this as well, the Celebrate Sunflowers one and this one, is I left literally, I think it's just under a quarter of an inch from the bottom to stick that down. I don't know how well you can see. I'll bring it up closer. So yeah, I stuck it about there. Um, so it's probably about an eighth of an inch actually and you can see you've still got the gap either side of the score line so yeah I'm going to go ahead and glue all those down 